My name is Abonface Chansam Kopa. I am visually impaired. Yes, I am unable to see. I am unable to see, but I love to write. I am unable to see, but I love to read. With my fingers, I explore words on paper. With my mind, I create images of the world around me. I love to explore books, to experience the beauty and mystery found in literature. The beauty and mystery found in literature is something I truly treasure. See, my inability to see cannot hinder my passion and dreams. My inability to see cannot hinder my dream to become a journalist. Bonfess Mokopa is a visually impaired youth from Matero compound in Lusaka with one dream of becoming a journalist. He was born in 1999 in the rural Senga district of the northern province and is a third child in a family of five. He was born as a healthy, able-bodied boy. However, in 2004, life took an unexpected turn for the boy. I became ill of measles in 2004. The parents, of course, and other people mistook it. Maybe it was witchcraft, and I developed rashes the following day. I was rushed to the clinic. Thereafter, I referred to the general hospital in Kasama. That was in 2004. Mizus was healed by the health workers. No sooner had I got healed from Mizus, I began to develop sight problems, especially my right eye. Thereafter. I was referred to Lusaka Eye, Eye Hospital. Despite all the efforts they had made, I could not be here. After losing his sight at a tender age of six, his family decided that it would be best for him to begin school. Having had no prior education or background in the village, he was sent to live with his uncle in the Copper Belt province in 2006. This is where his academic journey would begin at Ndola Lion School for the visually impaired. I started the school in 2006 February and it was a unique experience after starting school in that it was my first time to to communicate in in Braille. Then uh, it was a wonderful experience with my friends. Of course, they were the first one to show me how to use Braille. So, firstly, I could only feel dots like they were dots, and then I could I couldn't even sense anything from that. And though after being taught for some time. from grade 1 to grade 2 then i became conversant with it then i also faced difficulties in knowing it in that uh, for me to know just a single dot it was uh, quite difficult like dot 1 a it was difficult for me they say when life gives you lemons make lemonade such has been the attitude of young bonfes who bravely forged on towards his dream of becoming a journalist despite his disability and circumstances pressing on towards his goal after completing high school in 2017 Bonfess applied at the University of Zambia to pursue a degree in media and communication studies. My passion for journalism developed in 
after I got transfer from Ndola Lions to St. Odelia in Emporokoso. It so happened that I asked for books um, because initially I could not have access to books at Lions, but it was so interesting and good experience finding that their uh, books were available in the library. So I had to ask for those books for permission after closing school so that I could go and enjoy myself reading. Then after applying for admission at the University of Zambia, I got admitted to the Media and Journalism Studies. It was a good experience and I felt very excited because my dream was going to come true. Bonfess Mokopa will be the first ever visually impaired person to be enrolled in the Department of Media and Communication Studies at the University of Zambia since the department's establishment in 1984. The Department of Media and Communication Studies expressed excitement to accommodate the first ever visually impaired mass communication student. Media and Communications lecturer and media consultant Kene Okunda explained how Bonfils got enrolled to study journalism at the University of Zambia. Sometime last year in 2018, Mr. Elijah Ngwale came to see us at the Department of uh, Media and Communication Studies with a request that uh, one of uh, his blind uh, students, one of his blind uh, young people come and study with us uh, in the Media and Communication Studies Department. And uh, we consulted with colleagues, including the academic office. They said as long as he has got uh, the, right, the right qualifications, we can try him. And for sure, the, the young man has uh, five O-levels, five O-level credits, and he, he applied. When the, the time came for selection, he was uh, picked. This is a significant development, as at present, it seems the Zambian media industry has not been very inclusive when it comes to media training of persons who are differently abled. In the same way, the industry in Zambia has not recorded any blind journalist. The pressing requirements that are needed for Bonfest to have a smooth learning at the university includes a Peking's Brella, a smartphone and laptop with speech software, a digital recorder to mention only a few. At present, the would-be University of Zambia student has had challenges in purchasing these needed requirements due to lack of finances. Okay, most of the requisites have not yet been bought, but other things to use, uh, which are usually easily accessible, they have been done, but the main ones have not yet uh, bought those. Okay. But. Uh, in preparation for the university again, I'm also trying to acquire a computer skill. I want to be computer literate because I understand most of the information. I will be not able to access it in Braille, mm -hmm. so at least on a soft copy. So I need to, to be conversant with the computer on a laptop. And yeah, it is, uh, they are quite expensive, uh, so I can't uh, on my own afford, considering the situation in which I am like uh, less privileged. So some of the things which are needed, like a laptop and then software, speech software, normally which is job access with speech, then there's also need for a Peking's Braille. So I think those are, Will, will be tackled. Those yeah. are like the most important, important, right important. Mary Kawe, Bonfess's mother, explains how she felt when he was admitted at Unza. When I ne, pamula ndwa kwa Bonfess yuyu, ana kukonka na dream ya kwa yale oya fwa yokuchita. Hale landa jonsi pali yifini fwa kwa wati mpaka anka be generalist. Nomba inisha hale chetikilo kutiri ni uti wa mchita accept. Olo nombolo tuwaishi leo mfuati na nika ni ama acceptance letters na ya fuma. 
twaisa mfuati yao na ba muti taxi yao kwena kwa ali ukutemwa no kutotela kuti leso kuti lawe chawa mama bonfesi ba fikirisha dream yao yo ba le fwa ya fikirishiwa kwena twali aba sansa mukamwandi twali mfuile febu ino bonse na eva kana bena christine twashire kala na muno muine oli pa christine bonfesi Natasha, bon sem para tu as aguata na ma prayers no mui. E tu ali coen a ba sansa mukasan. Yelo ene na shala fe na o mui ki coen e a mari kuzit na mari kuamint. Oh na shala na fe em coar. Media and Communication Studies Head of Department Dr. Basil Hamsokwe explains how happy he is at having the first ever visually impaired mass communication student. I'd like to express my delight regarding the admission of Bonfess Mukopa uh, into the University of Zambia and uh, specifically into the Department of Media and Communication Studies. Uh, the department, uh, you may wish to know, has a unique approach to teaching in that uh, uh, students start practicing journalism the moment they report in their first year. So we have different teaching facilities uh, in the department. We have computer rooms, for example, we have broadcast studios. Uh, we also have um, Unza Radio. We have uh, the Rusaka Star online newspaper. These are platforms that students uh, actually use to gain their hands-on experience. These platforms, I must mention that actually they are, they are run by students themselves with the help of lecturers. So in a way you find that uh, everyone in the department is either teaching, learning and uh, practicing journalism. So this is a system in which Bonface will have to integrate into. And we hope that like any other student, uh, Bonface will be able to hit the ground running. So we are excited about having him in the department and uh, we are currently working on creating an environment for him in which he can easily adapt. However, I must mention here that uh, over the years, uh, the, d the number of students in the department has been increasing. The number of candidates wishing to study media studies have, has been increasing. And that has posed a challenge uh, to the department and to the university as a whole in that uh, the facilities that we have currently do not correlate with the number of students. Uh, so you find that uh, there's two challenges in terms of provision of uh, adequate or effective uh, media studies journalism for each and every student to have hands-on learning uh, experience. Uh, to that effect, we, we, we need more computers, we need um, more cameras, we need more recorders and many other production materials. Hence, for Bonfest to have a quality learning experience in the department, there's need for the provision of appropriate special learning materials for him. And this, these materials will also make the department more inclusive in terms of uh, promptly uh, meeting the needs of um, candidates such as Bonface. You know, these facilities in the department will not only be beneficial to Bonface, uh, but also to other prospective uh, candidates wishing to study journalism in the department. Dean of the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, Professor Felix Massie, affirms the university's commitment to inclusive education. Uh, we have admitted uh, Bonface Mukopa, who is a uh, visually impaired, but no less capable than any other students that we have admitted here at the University of Zambia. We are so excited to be welcoming Bonfest to our new intake in January 2020 to join our students in media and journalism here at the University of Zambia. The University of Zambia is promoting and spearheading inclusiveness in our academic programs, but also in development in general. And I would like to reiterate our call for well-wishers who are able to support uh, the Department of Media and Communication Studies here at the University of Zambia to provide the tools that people like Bonface would need to run through their academic programs here at the University of Zambia. We are so excited to be having Bonface and we encourage other students, potential students who uh, might be uh, differently abled 
to be able to apply not just into journalism and media studies but also in several other programs that we offer in the School of Humanities and Social Sciences. So welcome Boniface and we wish you all the very best. Thank you. Boniface's desire for the media stems from an inborn passion. High school friend Mukonde Kafwembe shares his experience learning with Boniface. My name is Mukonde Kafwembe, a first year student of special education and history at the University of Zambia. So uh, I'm a former pupil of Ndola Lions School for the Visual Impaired, where I knew Boniface in grade 11 during our senior secondary days. By the time I knew him, Boniface was a very determined and intelligent pupil. He always exhibited the desire to read and write. He would go in the library at our school and read books there. And uh, through this, his performance was great. I think he was one of the most intelligent pupils in his class. So to say this is evidenced through the performance that he always showed when assessed. Um, Boniface has always uh, indicated his desire to do journalism when we were together. I think that, 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 that ability to write, to read, has also been his, uh, has also been the engine of his desire to do journalism. A non-governmental organization has expressed gratitude for Bonfess's courage to pursue journalism at the University of Zambia. National Coordinator for Disability Rights Watch, Bruce Choma, emphasized the importance of education for people with disabilities. For a long time uh, now, a lot of uh, people with disabilities in Zambia have only been accessing tertiary education in the field of, 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 of teaching. Uh, even here at UNSA, oftentimes we have found that uh, a lot of persons with disabilities who enroll are only taken into the school of education. But to have a, a, a person who is visually impaired or blind who actually has been given an opportunity to pursue a career of their choice in terms of uh, journalism, it's a very important aspect in terms of promoting his dignity and human rights, but also in terms of raising the profile of our country as a human rights component country. As um, some of our viewers would know, Zambia signed the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities in, uh, the, uh, in 2010 and the Domesticated Legend and Disabilities Act of 2012. Now, the Persons with Disabilities Act contains a whole range of human rights provisions, one of which uh, is education. Education is a very important right uh, for people with disabilities, and the uh, government and the state uh, has a responsibility to ensure that persons with disabilities are given as much as possible the highest level of education, affordable education, and to a degree free education. And we're very happy that the University of Zambia has taken a step to be inclusive uh, in the enrollment of persons with disabilities to the extent that they can even allow somebody with uh, uh, limitations such as visual impairment to actually access training. Not only is the 20-year-old passionate about reading and writing, he has also cultivated a love for poetry. Dear Mother Zambia, beautiful and wonderful you are. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, to whose Lordship we submit. Dear Mother Zambia, Hail Mother Zambia, greetings and peace to you. You are endowed with natural resources, characterized with the beauty of nature. See, see the waterfalls and all different kinds of nature, all the natural and physical features characterize your beauty. In you resides 
the true heart for peace and the true heart of love. You are most treasured. In you, I find peace. In you, I find rest. Where can I find such a beautiful mother like you, Zambia? I travel across the oceans. I travel across the seas and only to find no one to suit your nature and character. So beautiful, you are a great a nation, Zambia. This is the message I write to you. Back to the drawing board. This is my call and plea to you. This is my cry and the song I sing all day and all night. That you may come back to the old way, that you may come back to the true nature of who you are. Come back to your identity. Let's get back to the factory setting. Mother Zambia, you are well known for your peace. You are described as a beacon of peace. You are so endowed and so embraced by other people. Your beauty, your nature is adorable. Many people and many countries, many nations, should I say, they really long for the peace which you have. Back to the factory setting, let's get back to the drawing board where we embrace everybody, where we embrace all ethnicities. Mother Zambia, you are known to embrace all cultures, you are known to embrace all people and all races. Back to the factory setting, back to the factory setting, where we will be able to fly above all the challenges and tribulations we are going through. For we believe in the spirit of together we can, in the spirit of our patriotism for our country. We believe these troubles are not insurmountable. We believe we can surmount over these challenges. You are so adorable. Let's get back to the drawing board, back to the factory. On the international scene, Gary O'Donoghue is an example of a successful visually impaired journalist. Gary is the Washington correspondent for the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC. He has been reported to be the only blind broadcast journalist in Britain. Indeed, nothing is impossible. And through perseverance, determination, and hard work, the barriers of life can be overcome to pave way for endless opportunities. Such is the story of Bonface Chansamukopa, who despite being visually impaired, is intent on making a mark in the Zambian journalism field and the world at large. But remember, Bonface is financially handicapped, and his vision to pursue journalism is impossible without my and your help. His requisites are expensive to acquire. Contact the Department of Media and Communication Studies at the University of Zambia on plus 260-1129-0035 or 0977-112595 or simply visit us at Great East Road Main Campus. Chingelit 